appreciate all the work that CAB is able to do within Cleveland County and all the assistance that they're able to provide. It's the things that go beyond the normal foster care payments that really help out. We've also used CAB funds to do some normal things that typical kids do. We've bought swimming lessons, we've bought instruments, we've done things like that with CAB funds. And it's always nice to be able to offer those things to our kids in custody. Another way that we use CAB funds is buying clothing for children. Um, we do allow our foster parents to have some clothing vouchers, um, but that's minimal amounts of cash. And sometimes kiddos need a special outfit, or they're going to a new school, or they're going to prom. And this allows us to have the money to purchase those things for those kids. Uh, the situation we're in, I have four grandchildren that was placed in my foster care through DHS. This organization uh, helped us out by coming forward and furnishing beds for all my kids. It was really, really nice of these people. Sibling events are an event where siblings can get together if they're in like different foster homes. We plan an event one day a year. We just throw together rides, food, and lots of games. Sibling events happens once a year during the spring usually, and it helps bring siblings together and you get to have fun and eat and see each other. And whenever you're not together, you feel lonely, and the sibling event lets you know that you can still see your siblings at least once a, once a year. It makes you feel like you're changing somebody's life. Because even though the little kids couldn't say it right then, it just made, it made them feel special that they got to see their siblings and have fun for a day. Uh, in May, I was affected by the tornadoes. I lost my house. Uh, I had one of my children was in Plaza Tower School, still in shock. We lived in our house for 15 years, and we had five foster kids at the time. And the one foster child that I had that was with me in the school at the time, all he could tell me is, my house is broken. Where are my toys? My toys are gone. With the assistance of CAV, I was able to get more toys for them. And um, because I work in the Moore office, I saw firsthand the devastation of the tornado and it really breaks your heart to see um, how people are hurting in a lot of different ways, physically, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. And to be able to hand them a physical, tangible help uh, by way of a check so that they can buy food, they can buy diapers, they can buy whatever it is that they're needing because they've lost everything. And so um, it's just a tremendous amount of joy to know that we're helping in a physical way. So when there are times like when the tornado hit, there are times when there are needs that are over and above and outside of the parameters that DHS can cover. And so to have an organization like CAB is a tremendous help to know, oh gosh, that doesn't fit into any of the budgetary items. Um, maybe CAB can help with this. Our kinship foster parents we had a 30 minute notification to pick up our new kinship foster baby we had to go from Moore to Mercy Hospital and needless to say we did not have the funds at the moment to gather the car seats the crib uh, emergency diapers because I have an 11 year old who's not in diapers <laughs> so I needed a little bit of help to get what we needed for the baby everything we needed basically for the first two weeks of the infant's life until we were able to incorporate her with our life so now she's a part of the family and we basically would not have been able to do it or even bring her home um, if we were not allowed funds citizens advisory board provides christmas gifts for our kids that are in foster care it's a way that our foster kids get to experience Christmas like any other child would get to experience. It's a way to help out foster parents, um, to support them in caring for the kids, and so that the kids can have a great Christmas. They remember the Christmases, they remember the float trips, they remember the funding that was available to them so that they could feel like they were just like any other kid. 
Citizens Advisory Board has helped with some of our kids whose placements have been a little bit rocky and um, they help them with things that kind of give them an outlet such as boxing classes or summer camps. Thank you very much. Thank you for all of your help. Thank you. Thank you, Citizens Advisory Board. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Everything is such a great help. We really appreciate it.